Hello, Gutera Malaysia. I am so excited to be with you today. And I want to congratulate you on three amazing years with doTERRA. I'm Dr. Nicole Stevens. I'm the Director of Clinical Research here at doTERRA. And I am thrilled to be able to speak with you, to give you some great information that I hope you'll be able to use to increase your own health, to share with others, and to incorporate into your lifestyle. So today I'd like to talk about three areas that hopefully will be of some interest to you and give you some more information. We're going to talk about healthy skin, healthy immunity, and then some oils that you may be familiar with and they might be new to you. So, but maybe something new to love about doTERRA. So let's start by talking about healthy skin. Now, skin is our body's largest organ, which sounds kind of strange. I mean, it's out on the outside of our bodies, but it actually is an organ and it's our largest one. And interestingly enough, it is one of our very most important and first defenses in our immune system. So we're talking about healthy skin and healthy immunity, but they actually are very closely related. So having healthy skin is more than just about how your skin looks. That's important too, but it's about how your skin functions and can we keep it healthy. As you can see in the diagram, skin is a very complicated organ. There are many parts and pieces and we know that skin functions well together and when it's compromised, it doesn't work as well as that barrier that we need for our immune system. So we want to be able to support our skin, allow it to do its job, and in turn, it will also look beautiful for us. So it's, there's lots of things going on here that we want to talk, talk about for just a minute and focus on for healthy skin. So proper care of the skin is of course very important in keeping skin healthy. Skin needs to be properly cleaned, it needs to have enough moisture, and it needs to be protected from the sun, from other influences that could damage it. So let's talk for a few minutes about what you can do to care for your skin, keep it beautiful and functioning as it should. So a few things, probably many of these you already know, hopefully many of these you already do, but it's important to keep your skin clean. It's just like a filter, an air filter. It'll you know, keep bad things from coming through the air, but after a while, it gets clogged, it gets full. So we need to make sure that we're washing our skin so it can continue to work as the filter that it needs to. We need to hydrate. As we hydrate from the inside, as we drink water, as we drink healthy things, this allows our skin to be full and plump. The cells that form the layers of our skin join together in, in, like bricks. And if those bricks start to kind of shrink because they're dehydrated, we can form little cracks in our skin and it makes it so that, that things could enter and our skin is compromised. So we need to be able to hydrate from the inside and keep that skin very well fluffed out, puffed out. Now getting plenty of rest. This, a lot of people may not associate with healthy skin, but really getting good rest is important for every aspect of our health, including healthy skin. When we sleep, this is when our body rejuvenates and refreshes and repairs itself. So, and it, you know, if we're not getting enough sleep, things like, you know, our, our skin starts to look tired. We might have dark circles under our eyes, which I know I kind of do too. I need to get more sleep myself, but getting enough sleep allows our bodies to be able to rejuvenate our skin at night. So it's, it's a really important thing for really all aspects of our health, including our skin. Protecting from the sun. Now this is a big one. Um, a lot of damage can come from the sun. It's important for our health to get some vitamin D that comes when we have some sun exposure, but too much sun exposure can damage the cells that build and grow our skin. So it's very important to 
stay out of the direct rays of the sun. Use hats or umbrellas or things that help block those sun rays. Sunscreen. All these things can help keep our skin from getting that damage and keep it looking young and fresh and, and safe and protected. And then finally, use good products. Use the best products for helping take care of your skin. We're gonna talk about some. I personally love to use them. They are amazing. Of course, they're doTERRA products. And doTERRA works very hard to make sure that its products are wonderful. They're healthy for the skin. They're full of um, ingredients that are you know, safe and well studied for use on the skin. So let's talk about a few of these and how you can use them. Of course, doTERRA has some amazing skincare lines. And these lines are kind of designed to work together as a way to cleanse the skin and tone the skin and provide moisturization, some of these things we've talked about. So there, the two main lines, of course, are the uh, uh, doTERRA, excuse me, the um, Virage line. I just had a blank there for a minute. The Virage line and then the, um, the traditional skincare line that we use. So I personally use just the traditional line and I love using it. The cleanser is wonderful and gentle. And I'll sometimes use the exfoliator to kind of get off any excess dead cells, uh, dead skin cells from the outside to reveal some of the younger skin cells below. Um, the toner is great to kind of help tighten the skin. It really is a great line and I love the moisturizers. They're one of my very favorite parts of the skincare line. And along with that, we've got some amazing products that can really help enhance the use of the skincare lines. So let's talk for a minute about Yarrow Palm. This is one of my other favorite products, one of my secret products that I love to use at night. So I'll do my, my cleansing, I'll cleanse my skin and you know toner and everything like that and I'll put on my moisturizer and then the Yarrow Palm comes out. And I will put that on some problem areas of my face that I know need a little bit of extra help, like around my eyes and sometimes up on my forehead or down on my chin. And Yara Palm is kind of amazing. It's got a combination of pomegranate fatty oil and Yarrow essential oil. Now this combination is a powerhouse. And why does it work the way that it does? Well, let's talk for a minute about the palm, the excuse me, Yarrow essential oil. Now, it's bright blue and it's beautiful. And I put it on my skin and I can definitely tell that it's there, it's blue. The reason it's blue is because of a chemical called camazuline. And this is what gives it blue, what gives the Yarrow its blue color. And it is wonderful for the skin. It functions as an antioxidant, a very powerful antioxidant. And this can help the skin deal with any damage that it's come up against during the day from various chemicals in the air, from maybe some sun exposure that we hadn't uh, intended. So it's a great thing. You know, I use it at the end of the day. You can really use it any time during the day, but it's a great thing to help the skin cope with life. And it's, the pomegranate oil is wonderfully moisturizing. It has, uh, its main ingredient is punitive acid, and this is a fatty acid that is in the pomegranate oil that helps the skin, again, be moisturized and the, you know, maintain that barrier between the cells, like the bricks. And it is a precursor to what's a, a chemical called CLA, which is also important for our cells to have. It's one of these things that science is showing is really beneficial for the health. So it's great to have that precursor there as well, that our body can use if needed. And together, I mean, these are just really, really powerful oils. Um, I've got up here some examples of some papers that have been published about how this, this combination of products can help um, with the skin barrier effect. And we talked about the skin as a barrier and as part of the immune system, as one of our first lines of defense against things getting into our body that we don't want. So I love seeing some of these papers talking about that antioxidant effect and the barrier effect of our skin. What a great way to be able to care for the health of our skin. Yarrow Palm, one of my very favorites, and I use that now every night. So, how do you use it? If you're not familiar with Yarrow Palm and you'd like to use it maybe in your skincare regimen, 
how do you use it? Well, let's talk about that. This is great for targeted areas of the face, right? I don't necessarily use it all over my body. There's a, a different product for that, but I like to use it in small areas that I know might need a little bit of extra help. Like I said, around my eyes, sometimes on my forehead, on my chin. Um, it's great aromatic benefits as well as the topical benefits, right? Essential oils, as you smell them, they also have aromatic uh, benefits. Sometimes can help kind of uplift the mood and then bring feelings of, of peace and comfort, things like that. So as I'm doing my skincare routine at night, I'm doing those aromatic benefits too. It's a wonderful way to calm down at the end of the day and get ready for sleeping. Now, I actually also like to use the Aropon on the back of my hands because that skin there, it, it has a lot of use during the day. We use our hands a lot, we wash our hands. And so that skin can get a little bit worn down. And I love the Aro Palm on the back of my hand. It's, it's a great place to use that as well. You can also have, uh, if you, you can add it to a regular moisturizer. Maybe you don't use the doTERRA skincare line. You should try it if you haven't. But if you don't use that, it's great to add to any other moisturizer. If you wanted to use it over a larger area of your body, you could add it to a body lotion. Now, there's also the Aropon Serum, if you're able to get that. This is what I like to use over the larger areas of my body, like the backs of my thighs and um, the stomach area and the arms and things like that. This has some effects that help kind of make the skin look more firm, look more toned. It's wonderful for moisturizing as well. So this you can also combine with your favorite lotion or other uh, skincare products. So the Yarrow Palm Line, if you haven't used it, this is something to try and to put into your regular routine. It is marvelous. And the results that you see, hopefully, you will love it as much as I do because you will see that it's actually doing some wonderful things for your skin. And, of course, there's some other essential oils too. I like to take and add some essential oils into my moisturizer sometimes, not all the time, but I do like to add in just sometimes a little bit of extra help because we know essential oils are very powerful for the skin. So my two favorites, I have a lot of favorites, but two that we'll talk about today, black spruce and Siberian pepper. Oh my goodness. So the aroma of these is wonderful. And again, you know, I'm putting this on at night, I'm putting this on in the morning, and I'm getting that aroma and I'm getting kind of that uplifting benefit. Now the reason I like black spruce and Siberian fir is they have a component in them called boronyl acetate. It's one of their main components. It's what helps, it's what helps them smell, you know, like that beautiful pine of fir forest smell. Now boronyl acetate has some research that suggests it can really help with the, the appearance of the skin. It's kind of helping to brighten and even the tone. And as I started using this, you know, I started, I, I looked at my skin and I knew that there were some areas, you know, as I'm, I'm getting older, I'm seeing the colored spots and things like that. And I, I knew that I wanted a little bit of help kind of evening out the tone of my skin. So I started using these. I feel like they really do a good job in helping to ease out my skin tone. And so I use these at morning and night with my moisturizer, and I really like them. Even, you know, just a little drop in a tiny bit of moisturizer, and I rub that on my face, and the aromatic benefits, topical benefits, they work together, and it is a wonderful combination. So there's some information about the boronyl acetate and how it can help brighten your skin. It, it really is a great thing in Siberian fur and in the black spruce. So those are two of my favorites that I keep in the bathroom. So if you take good care of your skin, your skin will thank you and it will help protect you and it will look beautiful for all of your life. So this is something definitely worth uh, taking care of. Now, Let's talk a little bit about immune system. We talked about how skin is part of your immune system. We're taking care of that. Now, what about the rest of your immune system? Like most systems of our body, the immune system is very complex. 
There are lots of parts and pieces. And we wanna make sure that we are taking care of all of these parts and pieces by supporting the body. Now, our immune systems protect us from onslaughts from the outside, microbial threats. We are under attack from microbes, from viruses and bacteria and everything like that all day, every day. And our immune system is just working in the background. It's just keeping us safe all the time. We don't usually think about it. It doesn't usually enter our minds that this is going on, but it is. And we don't really think about it sometimes until we get sick. And by then we know that something's happening and then we think, oh, I need to take care of my immune system. But the truth is, you can and should be taking care of your immune system all the time so that it can take care of you. Now, just like with skincare, let's talk about a few things you can do, hopefully already doing, to take care of your immune system. Good nutrition, of course. This is how we fuel our body, right? And the immune system is no different. This is how we make sure we have the nutrients to support a healthy body and a healthy immune system. Exercise, same thing. We're keeping our muscles healthy, our lungs healthy. We're allowing our body to be able to be at its best, to be at its optimal function capacity. So nutrition and exercise are huge for that. And of course, there's sleep again. Sleep is critical. This is how our body repairs. This is how our body rejuvenates. So every night, our immune system can be strengthened if we get enough rest. Very, very important. Managing stress. Now this one's huge. Scientists are just kind of starting to understand what a close tie, what a, what a very important connection there is between stress and health. And if we have lots of stress in our lives that we're not managing, it can have a very detrimental effect on our health. And the immune system is one of the first things that suffers if we have unmanaged stress. So luckily, at doTERRA, we have lots of great products for that, right? And we'll talk about that in just a minute. So. That leads us into our last point, using the very best products. We're gonna talk about a few of them. So let's go through now. Of course, On Guard. You probably are familiar with On Guard. It's one of doTERRA's most popular products, and for good reason. This is a product that is amazing for helping to support your immune system directly. There have been several studies done with On Guard with some pretty amazing results to show that it does a great job of helping support healthy immune system and a healthy environment. Along with that, Purify. This is a wonderful one for helping keep your surroundings nice and clean and uh, of course smelling wonderful too. You can't ever forget the aromatic benefits that the essential oils bring. They're very important for that aspect of managing stress and mood and things like that that also play into a very healthy body. So Purify is great to use around the house for cleaning, for freshening, all of these things. Serenity. Now it might sound weird to talk about serenity when we're talking about immunity, but remember, rest is so important and so critical. So if you're able to use serenity for sleep and to support a very healthy sleep, you're a step ahead. Your immune system is functioning better than it otherwise would. So keep that in mind too. We can't forget the power and the benefit of sleep. So, you know, those are some really simple ideas and you might already be using them and supporting your immune system and not even thinking about it and that's great. If you're not, maybe you're new to doTERRA or maybe you hadn't thought about using particular oils for supporting your skin or supporting your immune system. Now you have some ideas. Now you have some things you can go out and talk about and share with others. And we hope that that helps you and those who you talk to to be healthier. That's the whole idea. Now, finally, I want to share with you some ideas of oils to love. These are some of my very favorites. They're oils that I use regularly, if not daily, with myself, with my kids, family. And I want to talk to you about why I do. And if you're not familiar with these oils, these might be new ones for you to try and maybe new oils for you to love as well. So first, spearmint. This isn't one that a lot of people maybe know. Spearmint is one of my favorites. 
It's one that I typically carry around. I have it at work, I have it at home. The aroma is amazing. I love the mints, personally. I love peppermint and I love spearmint. The two mints are very different from each other. Peppermint is not spearmint and vice versa. Spearmint I love because it is soothing. Its main chemical constituent is called Carvone, and Carvone has some great studies on it showing that it's wonderful for helping to calm things down, helping to soothe. It creates an environment that's very um, soothing and relaxing. I need that at home and at work, which is why I have it in both places. As you smell this aroma, this aroma of spearmint, it's it's not the same as when I smell lavender, but it helps my body feel like I can cope. Right? If you're familiar with one of doTERRA's new oil blends, Adaptive, if you have ever gotten to try that one, there's a reason that Spearmint is in Adaptive, because of that smoothing ability. So if you're not familiar with Spearmint, this is one that you might consider trying. I like to put it in the diffuser, um, wherever I am. I will sometimes just open up the bottle and smell it, and it immediately can give me some of those feelings of calmness and peace. It's such a smooth, wonderful aroma that it, that's why it's one of my favorites. And my kids love this as well. It's very universally loved among uh, our family. So this is one to try if you haven't. Bergamot or bergamot, depending on how you pronounce it. This one I love because it is very uplifting. Now, the chemistry of this oil is, is very different from any of the citruses, right? It is a citrus oil, but rather than smelling, you know, completely just that wonderful bright aroma that the citruses have, it has some of that, but it also has some calming because it's got chemistry as though it's a citrus, but also some lavender. It's got linalool acetate and linalool, which are the main components of lavender. So it's like the marriage of the citrus and the lavender together in one oil. And that's one of the reasons I love it. Because it's both uplifting as well as got some soothing qualities to it. Right? If you see a theme here, it's the fact that you know, I feel a lot of stress and I love oils that can help me handle that. And so when I'm at work, my favorite time and way to use bergamot is to put that in the diffuser in the afternoon, kind of after lunch. Sometimes I'll get into that little bit of a slump and I have a hard time focusing and concentrating and I just need a little bit of something to feel good, to help me get through the rest of the day. Now, a lot of people do like to put bergamot on the skin. It smells amazing. And I'll just remind you that like with many citrus oils, we do have to be careful when we wear it on the skin, not to have uh, sun exposure. Because some of the citrus oils can cause additional sensitivity to the sun. So, like we talked about in the skin section, we want to protect our sun, uh, protect our skin from those UV rays. And just use a little bit of extra caution if we're using any of the citrus oils, particularly bergamot, on the skin. Although it can be wonderful too, so just use it cautiously. And rosemary, okay, so this is one that I don't think gets enough attention. I love rosemary. I grow the rosemary herb on my porch and I love to cook with it. And I like to cook with the oil as well too. This is a wonderful thing that I, I like to use personally um, to, to a way to use rosemary, but my favorite ways to use it are actually to smell it. Rosemary's main chemical constituent is a ketone called 1,8-cineol, also called eucalyptol. And as you smell it, it's this aroma that really just kind of opens everything up and smells amazing. And I kind of think of this as a rejuvenating kind of an oil. And so again, sometimes I need more of a pick-me-up even than bergamot offers. That's when I'll pull out the rosemary and it really wakes me wakes the brain up and there's even some studies that have shown that it can help with things like focus and concentration and sometimes that's really what I need. I would often use rosemary as I was studying for my school classes and it really did help. It helped with memory, it helped with recall and focus 
And so those are some of the ways that I like to use rosemary. Um, you could put it, you know, mix it with some other essential oils if you wanted a very interesting personal fragrance. It's got a wonderful note, kind of spicy and um, very kind of a bright herbal smell. So it's a great oil if, you, if you're into blending and you like to kind of play around with your own aromas. This is a really fun one to include, rosemary. So, I don't, you may have already been very familiar with these essential oils. These are some of my favorites, and I hope that you, if you haven't tried them, you might consider trying them. They're wonderful essential oils, as all the oils are. And they might be something that you can include in your daily regimen for health benefits. And you might find that you have a new favorite as well. So, I want to thank you for taking the time to spend with me today to talk about some oils, some exciting doTERRA products, have a little bit of education and a little bit of hopefully new information that you can take, share. doTERRA is committed, as always, to the highest quality products, to products that can support the health, that can offer you benefits, that can really change lives. So. I hope that you can find something from this information that you can use in your life or that you can share with someone and that it can benefit their life. Again, I want to congratulate you on three amazing years with doTERRA and I want to wish you many more years of benefits, of wellness, and of health. Thank you so much.